Uh, we've spoken earlier and you mentioned uh, this exciting project, an idea, uh, which you call um, the Thousand True f Fans. Uh, a Thousand True Fans. Can you explain a little bit what the idea is all about and what you want to achieve with it? Sure, yeah. So, as a reference, both Kevin Kelly, the founder of Wired Magazine, and Seth Godin have both talked about the Thousand True Fans. It's a well known concept amongst marketers. Um, but basically, what this means is that uh, a thousand true and devoted fans, to say a rock band as an example, through the lifetime of that band, will produce and, and, and bring to that band enough other fans and people that enjoy that music, just to stay with the rock and roll metaphor, um, to give that band a healthy income. Okay? So when we apply that, that model to any kind of a brand, um, that can be pretty exciting. Now, in terms of discovering those thousand true fans, we've got really cool things at our disposal. We can create a non-brand Twitter account using social media monitoring and intelligence tools like People Browsers Research League, and then we can pull out of that conversations, and we can produce sticky content marketing from those conversations based upon those, and of course, own creative input, but really leveraging our customers' input a lot. Um, and in a very short amount of time, we can have a lot of conversations going because we've gotten so precise in terms of discovering conversations, identifying trending topics within them. Like, you know, this this tweet was retweeted a thousand times. This tweet was not retweeted. Or this photo link was retweeted 10,000 times. And this photo link was never retweeted, as an example. So, you know, looking at, again at those social objects is a real way into growing that fan base. Um, and it's a very kind of tactile and powerful way to do that. Great. What I love about this concept is that we understand that our brand is not only created by us, the marketers, but uh, at a very high extent also by real fans and, and real customers um, who probably will be very much surprised when they see that they are officially accepted by the company they are representing already. And uh, I can only imagine how, how, how huge the potential is there if, if you really get this connection going. When you take Champions campaign where they sourced a whole fashion line for a whole season from their customers and rewarded them for that, that's an amazing development for humanity. You know, we've never really had before history to, to quote Jody Rich of People Browser again, the opportunity to have such rich information about our customer and the responsibility in response to that is to interact with them in a way that respects them, engages them, and delivers to the world their genius. That's really the power of social business. You know? it's, it's a whole different ballgame. Thanks. Yeah. Really exciting. As I uh, said before, visit uh, thesocializers.com. Nathaniel's blog is really insightful and uh, this man comes up every day, every week with new concepts and ideas and I really uh, like to follow him. So. Stay tuned.